Click with a little history again. Let's save that before we crash again. Save it as water fill container. Save. And now select a cube. Go to end mesh. Create end cloth. That thing. Don't have to go into any details, just hit it. You'll have your end cloth shape. Now let's play. Now we see it floats. But it's kind of too light. It's, you know, look like styrofoam. Let's make it more like wood or some light wood, like a boat kind of, you know, Beyonce. So if we select our cube and we go into attribute editor, we have our end cloth shape right here. End cloth shape one. These are our ad attributes, dynamic attributes for that object. So dynamic properties and in dynamic properties you can find mass right here everybody found it let's increase it say five and run the seam again now it's a bit heavy let it float And now we can uh, set the initial state for that object as well. Initial state, set from current, as well select our particles too, because we move them, I forgot about that. We move them, so we go and select our particles, either in attribute or just, yeah, select it. Particle shaped and solver initial state set from current. So now we rewind, it all stays Nicely there. That's, now let's convert, let's convert those particles into water. So select our particles. And then we go modify on the left side. That's where we convert stuff. And we click convert. They have all kinds. You can do, you know, you can do here paint effects to curves, nerves, polygons. We have all type of conversions here. Very helpful tool. Uh, menu. So in this case we go and we convert n particles to polygons. Now they disappeared. Where did they go? We have in the attribute tab and particle shape here in dynamics we have output mesh. So if it's all closed you look for output mesh in your n particle shape attributes. You found it? All right. Output mesh. And then here we have all these, uh, all these uh, attributes. So uh, let's start with threshold. Oops. Here we go. Threshold. And then this side, the, polygon, the triangle size are way a bit too big. So instead of zero, if, uh, 0 0.5, we'll make it 0 0.1. So we'll have better resolution, right? We also can uh, choose here method. Triangle mesh suits us most because we kind of make it kind of look like water, behave like water. But you can choose quads. You can you can do all kind of abstract effects with that. You see, like you have a all kind of weird stuff. So let's do triangular, and then threshold, and then let's do scale a bit up because we have this blobby stuff. So if we scale it up, radius scale, we get rid of the blobbiness. We got better, you know, more uniform surface. I mean, it's not, it's not perfect. It's just for, uh, you know, educational purpose. So just to learn. And I think I, I would like, I would change, for example, I would change the particle density since we, the cube got bigger. I made it 10 by 10 by 10, I think, instead of 5 by 5, so you got this blobbiness. But 
you can adjust it later. You can play with that. So for now, let's key it again. So rotation, select, key selected on zero. And then go to frame. Also, if you don't want to, you, you can, uh, on your time slider, if you don't want to get trouble with those kind of simulations and you have too much animation, you can go and then click a middle button and then the, ch the scene won't change. So if you, if you scroll with middle button, with your middle mouse button, and you say, that will be easy to animate, to key. You get a middle button and then the other side. Don't forget to be uh, automatic key selected, all right? This, this, this thing should be red. So once you select the key, it will, you will transfer the object, it will, it will key the, uh, the channels automatically. So middle mouse button, shake it the other way, and all the way to frame 300, let's say. All right. And now let's play blast. Remember how we do play blast? Select window, play blast. Here's our settings. You want to save it fine, give it name and save it. Yeah, I guess let's do that. Let's call it container. Uh, container. All the same as name, I guess. Whatever. Leak. Wait. QuickTime, format QuickTime and codec H261 because it's a, it's pretty compressed one, so you don't want to waste your disk space on PlayBlast, so better, better be well compressed. Quality 70 is all right. Scale, if you have a whole window open, 0.6 would be nice scale. If you have just one, like, if you have like on this side, you know, you want to do something quick, then you don't have to scale, but let's do it. Scale. 0.6. Let's give it some uh, shade, some texture to the water. Create the uh, what's it? Blin is a cheap one. It does take too too much to render. Select color, make it bluish. A bit of transparency. Go select our mesh. This this what this what called this what came out after we converted. Do you see that poly surface? That's the mesh that came out of those particles. So select our shader with the right click and assign material to selection. Oh, now we can see something. All right, and now let's play blast. So we have our options. We'll save it to file. Browse and put it in images. A bit better. Okay, let's play. Let's do something else, something more interesting. <coughs> Eventually, we have to do the, the guns and, and fire. So that's the purpose, all right, of all that stuff. OK, now I have our new container. Yeah, it works. Got the same? And if you if you have troubles with if it goes too slow, just make your do it all over again. Not right now, later. Do it all over again and make your cube you, if you want to play, make it small, make it five. Okay. So you just have enough enough uh, resolution to play with. Make it size five and that's that's gonna be fine.
because uh, you know some computers are you need lots of uh, power for those computations. All right.